Hey guys, what's up, it's Josh. For this week's video, I wanna talk about something that I have talked about in a previous video, but since you guys liked it a lot and left a lot of good comments, I wanted to do a part two. Because girls, there are still so many things that you guys do that like turn a guy on and make a guy happy and make a guy smile and all this kind of stuff. And it's all little things that you guys probably don't even know that we're noticing, but you guys are cute and we love it. So here are a couple different things that turn guys on. First thing is organization. Girls, you guys are usually really good at this and you guys always have like little tabs for things and little notes for this and little things for that and all different kinds of things, but that's one thing that guys really like. A lot of the time guys are the ones that are disorganized. They don't know how to figure things out. They have things in other places. They don't know where they put things. For some reason, you girls always have everything organized and figured out and ready to go and you guys are able to figure out that disorganized side of our brain. I think that's one thing that really turns guys on. The next thing that you girls do that turns guys on is when you girls have a lot of friends or if you have people that like you or if you're just one of those people that's outgoing and is able to start a conversation and make people laugh and you have people that are attracted to you just based on your personality. I just think that for anybody in this world, if you're able to attract people and make people happy, people are just gonna be turned on to that. And I feel like if girls, you have a lot of friends or if you have people that admire you, that's definitely something that I think turns guys on. So a lot of the time guys are the ones that don't want to talk about their feelings, they keep it all inside, they just don't want to say anything because they don't want to say the wrong thing, they don't want you girls to think that we're really emotional. But when it comes down to it, I feel like a guy is really attracted to a girl who is able to be straightforward and is able to just say how she's feeling and not say certain things that mean other things and then get us all confused. So I think guys are attracted to girls who are able to just say what they feel, not hide anything, and are just able to talk about things. I think that's one thing that guys really like. Even though we suck at it, I feel like that's one thing that guys are really attracted to. So you've probably heard before that it's not good to put all of your time and effort into a relationship. You're supposed to have things that you do on the side that make you happy, that kind of make you grow without that other person. Like you're able to grow on your own and you don't always need that other person there with you. But I think that guys get really attracted to people that do their own hobbies and have their own things. And there's nothing more attractive, girls, when like you guys can do something where like if I sit down in front of somebody that knows how to play guitar or knows how to sing and you guys just start to like sing something and it separates you from any other person in this world, I feel like that's one thing that really attracts a little like me or like a guy or whatever. It's just when you're really good at something and you put time into it and you can just be yourself and be unique. There's just something that's really cute about it and like something that like really attracts a guy, I feel like. All right, so if this video was about things that guys do that attract girls, I feel like, I think a lot of you girls would say it's good when like a guy has a sense of humor. So this goes for the same with girls. If you guys have a sense of humor, if you're able to make somebody laugh, if somebody thinks you're funny, or if you're able to just like have a good conversation with people and have them like laugh a little bit or just like crack a funny joke that like is so bad that it makes them laugh and it's just cute and all that kind of stuff. When it comes down to it, if you're in a room with a bunch of people and there's one girl making people laugh, they're gonna be attracted to that one person. So I think that sense of humor is another big thing. So the next thing that when I was writing it down, I didn't really think that it was like that big of a deal. But then when I started to think about it, like guys are really attracted to girls who like to take care of things. So if you have like an animal or if you have like a baby brother or if you have like a sister and you're really good at like taking care of something and making sure that it's okay or making sure it's fed or making sure it has clothes. or I feel like when guys see that you're able to take care of something, there's something about that that's just really attractive because they know that like you're actually caring about something else other than yourself and you're able to just to take care of something and make sure that it's okay. All right, so not every guy is the same, but I think that it's really attractive when girls are close to their family. If you have a good relationship with your mom and your dad and your brothers and your sisters and your aunts, I think it's just one of those like important things that like your family is kind of the people who have your back, that are always there for you, that are always able to help you. I just think that it like shows that you're respectful and that like in the future, you'll be able to like take care of your own family because you have your own family stuff figured out. Like, that's definitely another thing that I think guys find attractive. I hope that you guys like this video. I just thought that I would do a part two because you guys really liked the last one that I did. I got a lot of good comments and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine, welcome to our family. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Also, I have been vlogging a lot. So if you guys aren't satisfied with just one video a week on this channel, I'm gonna be putting up so many videos over the next couple months on my vlog channel. I went bungee jumping like two days ago, which was totally insane and something I thought I would never do, but I filmed the whole thing. So if you wanna see that, go to the vlog channel. I'll have something right here that you can see it. Other than that, I hope that you guys like this week's video and I love you guys. And as always, I will see you guys next Saturday in next week's video. 
Bye.